standard for a certain product. Mike Stevens takes the Pennsylvania road to Scranton for a first-hand look at what used to be. We're going to tour the Scranton Lace Company building. Oh, not physically, of course, but rather through the photos of attorney Harry Byrne of Montgomery County. Through a company called Abandoned America, Harry gained access to the place and began to tell a story. The history, you can tell a lot about the people from the way they built the place and the care that they used in building it. They built not just a place to work, but a place to go to as well. Some bowling, perhaps, after work. Spend an evening in a league, maybe. Some entertainment might be in store when the workday was done. Plenty of room for that. I like the uh, some of the very, very large rooms here that are columned and everything like that. Those columns supported what might be thought of as a small town, complete with a large kitchen to feed whoever needed it. Nottingham Lace was turned out on huge machines that have become rusting relics of their day. The place closed in 2002. While there is now some demolition, there is work aimed at renewing and rebuilding parts of the Scranton Lace Factory. As for now, this is a sampling of what you might find inside. There's a ghostly look to Harry's photos, and rightly so. What they show is a place long ago left to whatever might happen to it. The weather hasn't been at all kind to it, as you can tell. Harry Burns' photos took us down a path to what once was. Here, who knows how many worked, laughed, spent their lives making delicate pieces of beauty that likely survive today stored in a trunk or on a closet shelf. The Scranton Lace Company, surviving in name only, but at least not forgotten. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Scranton. As Mike mentioned, crews are tearing down much of the old Lace Company. This is video from earlier this month. The place has since deteriorated and unfortunately has been the site of break-ins and small fires. A developer wants to build townhomes, lofts, and businesses here on the property in Scranton. That does it for Newswatch 16 at 6. Up next, World News Tonight with David Muir.